Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk about why finding or having a provider is not good enough. And so, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. I want to position it in a way for some considerations and why you have to think beyond provision, why you have to think beyond just providing. And so, yeah, that's what I want to talk about in this video. It's been interesting. I've been going, I've been contemplating on this video for a while. And it's why I haven't done a video because I wanted to position it in a way where I felt like it is un understandable and why it is important to consider that just providing is not good enough. And also I want to talk about what you should look for. So when it comes to creation, or building something, there's masculine and feminine energy. And so I want to position this in a way where you are either building a family or you're building a business or anything like that. It takes masculine and feminine energy. And it's a way of operation that leads to success, that leads to life. We see it when it comes to even life creation, masculine energy and feminine energy, there's the sperm, the egg, and how they create life. And feminine energy brings life into existence. And so when it comes to family, in the beginning, providing and finding someone that can provide for you, I believe is a great way to um, build a strong family. Now, if you choose, if that's not for you, this ain't the video for you. And in the beginning, provision and providing um, financially security, um, providing security, finances, all of that stuff in the beginning, when it, especially when you, if you want a family, is super important. But eventually, as your children get older and they require less of your energy, and less of your time and attention. Providing is still important, but you also have to think long-term, right? And building something, building legacy. And so providing financially for your family is an honor, in my opinion. For men to provide for their family and provide a lifestyle for their family is an honor. And I hate to hear when people say things that is honorable and they kind of discredit it or discount those kind of things as if it's a negative thing. Let's just be real. I find that nurturing children, um, bringing life into the world, bringing... Um, cultivating home, cultivating connection. I think that that's an honor. I don't think that it's something that it's like, oh my gosh, why do I have to be burdened with, you know, caring the children or nurturing the children or anything like that? Or um, for him to be like, why do I have to be burdened with providing for my family? I just think that that's just a, the perspective on looking at family is kind of skewed in my opinion. But in the beginning, your family and when your kids are younger, they do require a lot of time, energy, and attention. So providing finan financially is super important, but it's also, and, and you're not so much thinking about legacy and building and all that kind of stuff, even though you could do it at the same time, but bringing your energy and building that foundation as a family is super important in the beginning when your kids are young. But as your kids become older and they require less of your attention and energy, then it's like legacy. And so, and that's what you should be thinking, like as masculine energy should be thinking about legacy and protection of their family. And by protection, I mean passive income, building assets, building businesses, real estate, these kind of things outside of just providing financially. We, we should be thinking long-term because your children are young 
they require a lot of energy and as they get older they require less energy and so your energy will be going out somewhere and I submit to you that as your children get older and you get more of your time and your energy back that if it is not focused on other things like legacy, like building an empire, like building protection for your family, that that energy will be focused on other things that are more detrimental to the family. What am I trying to say here? Um, idle hands. That's what I'm trying to say here. Idle hands. That's why providing is not enough. At some point, when it comes to the evolution and growth of your family, you as well need to be thinking growth and expansion and evolution as well. And this means legacy. This means building empire. This is vision forward, like forward thinking. This is forward thinking about if something were to happen, is my family, my legacy protected? Thinking three generations ahead thing keeps stopping but three generations ahead that's why providing is not enough and when you are when you are vetting for a potential partner this is where ambition comes into play this is why ambition is important is he able to have a vision for his family is he able to forward think Think three generations ahead where you can build protection for your family because there is something that um, that Elena Cardone, who is Grant Cardone's, if you don't know who Elena Cardone is or Grant Cardone for that matter, um, they are mindset people or something like that. I don't know what you would call them, but they... I think Grant Cardone talks about sales and building empires and things like that. But one of the things that they talk about, which is really, really important to consider, is the illusion of middle class. Is that if, if you're not forward thinking, if you're not thinking about empire, if you're not thinking about legacy, and you're just thinking about provision and providing, at some point, in the beginning, providing and having your energy more towards the home is important because your kids are young. But as your kids need less attention and energy, your energy should be focused on building legacy, building more. Because at some point, the illusion of middle class is being comfortable, right? Anything can happen. You can a job can be lost. That is a huge blow. Sickness can happen. You can have one bad month in, in your business. Um, all sorts of things can happen that can really be a, at the detriment of your family. If you're not thinking about legacy long term and you're forward thinking and building something that can protect something significant that can protect your family. And this is why I say providing is not enough because building something significant, whether it's an assets, investments, real estate, especially when your kids are older and you, you, they require less of your energy, you should be focused on protection of your family. And this is important because things happen in life and we want to consider something that can withstand a blow is what they say. Elena, Elena says this a lot and it is super important because you hear all the time the illusion of middle class because people they'll have something happen detrimental that really just it, it and can collapse the family it is because you didn't protect the family. So we talk about providing and protecting. Part of protecting your family is ensuring that they will be good. 
ensuring that if something were to happen to the family, something detrimental, that the family is good. And so that's why I say, you know, you get comfortable in just providing, but not building. Building something significant that can withstand detriment, that can withstand something catastrophic. I said it right, I think, catastrophic. But something that can withstand something that a recession or anything like that. You know, I, I have my things about all that kind of rhetoric and narrative, but but that can withstand withstand like I'm sure you can hear the wind right now, but can withstand those hurricane winds that like we experience in Colorado, which is really annoying. But something like that. And this is why providing is not enough because you'll get comfortable in just providing the bare, the basics. You'll get comfortable with providing the basics for your family instead of having a vision, being ambitious. And this is why it's important to, um, to think in these ways because as your, as your family grows, as you, as your family grows and evolves, you have to grow and evolve in your mindset as well. Okay, this is thinking about legacy and generations, right? Generations ahead to protect your family because we get comfortable and we get stagnant. So we just keep doing the thing. But as our family evolves and grows and expands, we have to expand and grow our mindset as well, thinking that, okay, my kids are older now they don't need all of my time and energy and attention. How can I still give to my family? And this is assets, investments, real estate, businesses, all sorts of things that is going to help protect your family. And so this is why providing is not enough. In the beginning, I do think it's important. Yes, providing for your family and having that energy in the home, both you know, feminine energy in the home and masculine energy in the home and giving to the home, building that foundation is important. But at some point, you have to shift your mindset because it is about growing. You can't get stuck because that's what happens. You get stuck and comfortable. You have to expand into protection, protecting your family. So that's why providing is not enough. And I just want to have these conversations because I think it's really important because it's like, oh, he provides. And then if you, as the feminine energy being in the relationship and the family, desire more, then that's a bad thing. Almost from society, societal views is that that's a bad thing. But th the reason why you desire more is because you're expanding. Feminine energy expands. And it is the job of the feminine energy being in the dynamic in the family is to inspire masculine energy to do more, to do more because you as the feminine energy being of the dynamic understand protection. You understand that it is super important that your family is protected and it's about expansion and as we expand, we are more protected. And we, and, and if something were to happen, you can withstand, and it's not even a big deal, because we are to expand. Because if you're not expanding, your mindset is stuck. As your family evolves, your mindset has to evolve with it. And so that's why providing, and I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but I just want that to be, I want to drive that point home because how often do we see where things weren't, weren't put into place, you know, passive income, uh, you're not, you didn't, assets weren't built. So if something were to happen, 
you're not in, you're not protected. Protection is super important, especially once your kids are getting older, they require less of your time and energy. And like I said, that energy, hear me, hear me. That energy that's not being put onto the children because they require less of that energy will be directed somewhere because energy is neither created nor destroyed. It will be directed somewhere. And this is often where you hear about affairs, you hear about, um, or he, he gets really uh, obsessed with his own body, you know, all these things because there needs to be a goal. Energy has to go somewhere. And so this is where feminine energy inspires protection, okay? and inspires protection. And that's the job of the feminine energy being in the dynamic in the family is to inspire him to protect the family. Because like I said, idle hands, girlfriend, idle hands. Anyway, that's all for this video. I just wanted to share that you guys. Um, I wanted to, like I said, I want to position it in a way that made sense. Um, you know, I would encourage you, if you want to look more into this, is to look at the illusion of the middle class. It's actually a thing. And I can understand if you're not middle class or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's about this, um, the idea that things, the idea of being comfortable, that's what it's about. And how you have to be a forward thinking person and think about protection and building something that can withstand catastroph catastrophic things, okay? Anyways, you guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do videos on womanhood, feminine energy, manifestation, all that jazz. So if you like that kind of thing, think you'll like it here. So subscribe and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.